Shalom, everyone. You're watching the Ponderings of the Pirkei Avot. I'm Chris Shoemaker, also known as Yehuda ben Shomer, and today we're going to be in chapter 1, verse 17. And it says, His son, Shimon, would say, All my life I have been raised among the wise, and I have found nothing better for the body than silence. The essential thing is not study, but deed, and one who speaks excessively brings on sin. Okay, so uh, let's break this down here and see what he's saying here in the Pirkei Avot today. Silence is golden. Uh, you know, the, it seems like the older that I get, the more that I enjoy silence, the more that I enjoy my own company and the company of my own thoughts, the more I enjoy thinking and meditating and, and kind of digesting uh, what I've read or learned throughout the day. But silence is golden in that, you know, uh, it, it's better to listen. And it's better to absorb and learn than to speak because half the time we don't have anything good to say and half the time we think we know what we're talking about and we don't. So I think what he's saying here about silence is think before you speak. And I'm going to be using a lot of cliche, uh, cliches here. But think before you speak. Engage your brain before you open your mouth. Don't be dippling and dappling when you don't know what be happening. That's what we used to say in the 90s, right? And talk is cheap. And actions speak louder than words. All these cliches that I just mentioned sum up verse 17. So learn and absorb all you can before you try jumping into a conversation because if you don't know really what's going on in the conversation, uh, you're either going to look like a fool, you're going to stumble over your own words, or you're going to end up lying to try to make it look like you do know what you're talking about, and it just becomes a bigger mess. So, and there's another saying that goes like this. It's better to be a fool and be silent than to open your mouth and remove all doubt. And Proverbs tells us that even a fool is considered wise if he keeps his mouth shut. That's Proverbs 17, 28. So why, uh, why does excessive talk lead one to sin? Because one usually ends up either lying or exaggerating or embellishing and being all talk and no action or lying unknowingly because one doesn't really know what they're talking about. They think they do, but they don't have all the facts. So I think that's another reason that he said that uh, one who speaks uh, excessively brings on sin. Uh, and it is a character trait of somebody who speaks a lot and talks a lot. Either they're nervous and they're, they're just an anxious person, or they talk a lot because they're a con artist and they're trying to, you know, smooth things over or they're trying to talk their way out of something or, you know, and it just seems like, you know, here we're on the border of Canada, right? Canada and the United States. So every time we go over, I used to be so nervous, you know, because of people in uniforms and their border security and their authority. And I would just stumble over my own words. But now I've gone across back and forth so much. It's, you know, it's, it's nothing. But I notice when I get nervous, I talk a lot. And when you get nervous and talk a lot, the border guard gets suspicious because he's like, okay, well, why are you so nervous about? What do you got to hide? Pop open the trunk, you know? So I've just learned to be silent and just only speak when spoken to and just answer the questions that they pose. That's it. Boom. Simple. In and out real quick. So uh, I think that's another good example that sums up uh, chapter 1, verse 17 of the Pirkei Avot. Hey, thanks. Uh, see you guys later. Shalom. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to press the like button as well as the subscribe button if you haven't done so already and the notification bell that'll let you know every time I make a new video. And don't forget to share this with a friend. Also, visit our website at abrahamsdescendants.com. Thanks! Shalom!